Um, you know what, man? I'm getting tired of going into the damn season every year with fucking question marks all over our offensive line. Um, this is every year we do this. If it's not because one, if it's not because we have a tackle who we really want to be good, but he's ass and we just can't, we can't accept that. If it's not that, if it's not us putting a whole bunch of late round picks, starting at key ass fucking positions, it's something else. If it's not the injury bug, if it's not this, if it's a, every year there is, there is question marks all over our offensive line. And I am so tired of it. I'm sick of it. And, you know, it's funny because you just heard, didn't we just hear John Mara say, what, about two weeks ago that he really wishes he would have given Eli uh, more help uh, towards the end of his uh, his prime, right? You should probably worry about the fucking quarterback you have now, to be honest with you. He doesn't even barely have any of that much. Like, look at his damn offensive line, and then look what Eli had to work with the past fucking, his, his last, what, four years in the, with the New York Giants? Look at the, compare the offensive lines, okay? Now... Let's take a look at the offensive line that we currently have. So we got Andrew Thomas at left tackle, right? Question mark. I'm going to keep it real. Question mark. Uh, we got Shane Lemieux at left guard. Question mark, right? We got uh, we got Nick Gates at fucking center. Trash. Trash. That's, that's just trash. Garbage. This is his... What year is this for him? Third? Fourth? He's bad. Let's just accept the fact that he's just not a good center. And, or guard, whatever the f He's like at a new position every year. F the fuck out of here. And then, right guard, we got Will Hernandez. Okay, so, uh, he might be our best offensive lineman, and I ain't saying much, because uh, with how fucking happy we were when we drafted him, I expected more out of him. Um, apparently, we're supposed to be getting this meter leader version of him, or whatever the... We're going to get the same damn Will Hernandez we've been seeing, okay? Um, and then at right tackle, we got Matt Pert. I'm optimistic, but fucking question mark as well. That's three fucking question marks in my damn book at, for this offensive line. We just signed, before they retired, we just signed Joe Looney and Todd Davis. Joe, uh, Joe Looney could have easily took Nick Gage's job. That's not fucking good. That's not good. I don't care that Joe Looney retired. And someone I don't care retired could have been starting at center. That's not good. Todd Davis could have been starting next to Blake Martinez at linebacker. Somebody I do not care retired nearly started at linebacker. That's not good. Zach Fulton retired. I don't know why we signed Zach Fulton in the first place. But he retired, and I, it, someone who could have easily started at guard retired. I don't care. That is not good. Well, oh, but we have four really good wide receivers, though, right? We got a fast tight end who all he can do is run. Run and stay hurt. That's all That's all Evan Ingram know how to do. That's all Sterling Shepard know how to do, to be honest with you. You got Kenny Galladay? Awesome. Uh, you got um, Darius Slayton. Awesome. I don't know why we drafted Kadarius Tony. Um, not knocking Kadarius Tony, but have they not seen our offensive line? Did you? Our, before Saquon Barkley, see, we like to automatically say to ourselves, "Wow, when Barkley gets back, he's going to be a monster." Do you guys? Did you guys not see Barkley before he got hurt last year? He didn't. He wasn't doing much. He didn't have much to fucking work with there. You got Daniel Jones, who can't stay on to the... He cannot hold that ball and save his life. This is the last squad we need to have no damn offensive line. You got a tight end who can't fucking block. You got a, you got a clumsy, butter-hands quarterback. And you got a running back who's really good, but just came off of a season-ending uh, injury. And this is how you treat our offensive line? So you cut Kevin Zeitler... And you draft no offensive lineman. I can understand cutting Coven Zeitler. The motherfucker was expensive. Okay? But 
no offensive lineman drafted, but you draft Kadarius Tony. But you draft a you draft a running back. You draft uh you draft like what two two defensive backs for some reason. Who I mean, listen, I'm not knocking these guys. I think I think some of these guys are going to be really good for us down the road. But b what the fuck, man? This damn offensive line. I am tired of going into the season with question marks on our, at, at our offensive line. I'm tired of uh, our our freaking division. Whether if they got good tight ends or bad tight ends, fucking our damn linebacker core up because there's no linebacker that can cover our any tight end ever. I'm sick of it, man. I'm tired of it. Um, now, I'm not going to bitch and complain too much about the linebacker position because our defense is really solid. But that offensive line, if we miss the fucking playoffs, it's going to be because they fucked us up.